Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I'm a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. Now we've gone through Duality and The Devil and I already by Slipknot and I became an instant fan. I was honestly really, really upset with myself for not listening to Slipknot sooner. I love Corey Taylor's voice. Actually, saying I love Corey Taylor's voice is a bit of an understatement because the man can sing his heart out and uh, it can bring the strongest man to their knees. So uh, I'm excited to continue my journey with Slipknot. Today we're diving into Unsainted. I got this recommended so much in my comments and I'm so excited to enjoy this with you guys. But before I get started with the video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another Slipknot reaction ever again. That being said, let's get started with Slipknot Unsainted. I'm gonna go back i am so pleasantly surprised i of course have seen uh the devil and i it was very theatrical obviously felt like a twisted circus and in duality it was trashing someone's house which i did uh learn from y'all in the comments that they paid somebody uh to be able to trash their parents house which is honestly the most slipknot thing i've ever heard <laughs> but i loved this the intro was uh honestly very artsy it was very like creepy it was invoking those feelings of like creepy and it was very uh very very much alluding to um uncomfort discomfort it, it, but in also like the best way possible i love seeing this more artsy side of them versus uh the more like uh you know comedic and, and uh masked individuals i saw on stage in the devil and i it really just makes you you know think that they're not just guys in masks they actually have an artistic side and it was really cool to see that in this in the beginning of this uh I loved the aggression. Everything is so good. The drums are insane. Corey's voice is killer. I um, really, really love this. I love this so much. And I can't wait to get creeped out for the rest of the song. Um, but I'm also really, really here for it because this is so good. But let's continue with the video.
before we get to uh, what I'm assuming is going to be a breakdown, you can already kind of tell it's alluding to it. I still can't believe that this is the same person I heard doing snuff acoustic because Corey just has such an incredible range. I love the grit so much in his voice and I love the, you know, very, very fast, you know, screamy parts of his voice as well. Um, but <laughs> I just, I, I, his cleans in the chorus are just so nice. It's like, it's like, uh, me versus you know my music taste like he can just do it all and i i think his voice is so so special i know a lot of us have a crush on Corey, uh but his his voice his range is just immaculate impeccable he's so good at what he does and i'm so mad i haven't heard this sooner because this is so aggressive this is perfect when i'm feeling super super tired on the stairmaster i feel like i just need to put this on so i can have the drive to you know walk for another i don't know an hour like this just really gets you so pumped and you feel like your adrenaline is really really high and you feel so excited about your day um i don't know i, I mentioned this before like i feel like slipknot ever since i started listening to them i feel very much like it's a, a, a it's like instead of running on a treadmill i can just listen to this and i feel like i let out a lot of my aggression through this through this music because it's so angsty it's so fast paced the drums are always so freaking good it just kind of like makes you forget of all the negativity in your life and it just kind of like cleanses your soul but it's like a uh, chaotic in a way because i feel like a lot of us who listen to this we're already chaotic so having someone else that's chaotic enter into our eardrums it's like it balances out like like a double negative in a way. I know I don't know if that makes any sense, but I feel like chaos chaos equals positive and happiness and happy metalhead hearts. But this is so good, and I I I, I just I just want to hear it again and again. I oh, my dog wants to say hi to you guys. Hi, I know she's never done this before, but um, this is my dog Aria. You guys always see her in the background, and she's shaking my entire desk. But uh, let's get let's continue with the video. the best Slipknot song I've heard so far. Everyone has mentioned that your favorite Slipknot is, favorite Slipknot song is the one you heard last. And so far this takes the cake. This was so out of 10 the entire time and it made my heart so freaking happy. I feel so good right now. <laughs> I'm just so blown away. They continue to surprise me each time. And I feel like uh, a lot of people look at them. I've heard a lot of comments of people who don't appreciate metal music. They see, you know, their logo and I've heard people say that they think that they're like satanic or crazy just because of their masks but that's just appearances that's just theatrics it's not who they really are because if you you know really listen to their lyrics they're very very deep and they talk about real life issues which i feel like a lot of us can resonate with and that's why they you know have become so special to me um they just they just really know what they're doing in their songwriting and i know snuff was originally a slipknot song and then corey when i reacted to it corey taylor did it acoustically 
And I uh, got a really nice glimpse of their songwriting. And it just shows you that they aren't just, they're just like misunderstood. They aren't just some guys that put on masks and, and headbang on stage and, and, and scare people. They, you know, just, they write from the heart. They write from their hearts and souls. And I am really, really sad to hear that two of their members have passed. And I'm so upset that I didn't get to appreciate them you know, when those two members were, you know, still alive, because I've heard some of their stuff and they're incredibly talented as well. So again, rest in peace to Paul and Joey, because they, their legacy, you know, is going to live on forever because Slipknot is a household name. Even if you don't listen to them, you've heard the name, you've seen the guys in the masks, you, you know about them. So it's, it's just so crazy to think that their, their uh, legacy is going to continue going on and on. And we're going to continue to, you know, you know, live their memory. Their memory is going to be in us throughout, um, you know, our lives, and it's just so beautiful to see. But they're insanely good. I I love how chaotic they are, controlled chaos, and they just make my heart so damn happy. They're so good that even my dog Aria was, you know, wanting to listen with me. But I am so excited to continue going down this Slipknot rabbit hole because this is just insanely good, and I cannot wait to go through their entire discography with you guys. But if you would like to hang out with me, talk Slipknot music, play games, I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I also have a lovely Discord community. Y'all are more than welcome to join. But uh, throw me some more Slipknot. I need to hear more of them as soon as possible. Uh, but other than that, I'll be back tomorrow. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another Slipknot reaction ever again. But I'll be back tomorrow with some more music. Y'all take care of yourselves. I love you so damn much. Enjoy the rest of your day and bye!